This is one of the coolest airplanes I've got. I actually became interested in flying when I was 13 years old. I heard that song Snoopy and the Red Baron on the radio, and this was the airplane that became my, my dream airplane. I uh, finally got one uh, quite a number of years ago. This is one that we just actually got flying not too long ago. We kind of built it up ourselves. Famous uh, Fokker triplane with the big Red Baron from World War I. A couple of machine guns. I used to shoot through the propeller. It's got three wings. The visibility on the ground is very, very poor. And one of the things to be able to see where you're going, they put some cutouts in the wings here, but uh, it only helps a little bit. Uh, when you're flying, the middle wing actually gets in the way of the visibility, so you've got to keep the airplane moving. It's very, has a tendency to be very unstable. I flew it this morning, and it was a little bit of bounce in the air, and it's, it wasn't very comfortable. I had a little bit of a crosswind, so I was concerned because the airplane has no brakes, no brakes at all. Uh, it's got a tail skid which drags on the ground, so. Yeah, the reason the Fokker triplane, they went with three wings was, there was two reasons. One, it could climb very quickly. They actually had a little wing beneath the wheels, so it was kind of like three and a half. But it could also turn very tight in a dogfight. So it had two advantages where it could outclimb, it could outturn the enemy, but the one disadvantage was because of the extra drag, it wasn't quite as fast. So if you wanted to get away from an enemy, what you had to do is you had to outturn them in a dogfight, but if you tried to run away from them, generally they were faster.